Every shooting we hear, it's mental health, it's not the guns, it's mental health. First, I want to say I support the Second Amendment. If you are a law-abiding citizen, I have no interest in your guns. I have an interest in a conversation about how we can get fewer kids and fewer citizens with bullet holes in them. Things got real spicy during the debate for a for a seat in South Carolina's first congressional district. Now, the topic of gun control came up, and it was fascinating to see the Democratic candidate here, Annie Andrews, fight back against a narrative we hear from the right wing quite often when a mass shooting takes place. Now, the Republican incumbent is Nancy Mace, and she, of course, pretended to care about mental health and how we need to really do something about it to prevent the prevalence of mass shootings in this country. But Annie Andrews, the Democratic opponent, wasn't having it. Let's watch. We've got to make sure that uh, that our schools are funded with SROs, the school resource officers, uh, throughout the state of South Carolina. Something I supported and voted for. We got to address mental health. We got to address suicides in this country that have gone up exponentially for adults and our youth over the last two years. Thank you, Representative. So why did Mays. you vote no on the Mental Health Dr. And Schools Andrews, Act? If you would like to rebut, Thank you, you certainly can for thirty seconds. Yes, Thank you. We, every every shooting we hear, it's mental health. It's not the guns. It's mental health. First, I want to say I support the Second Amendment. If you are a law-abiding citizen, I have no interest in your guns. I have an interest in a conversation conversation about how we can get fewer kids and fewer citizens with bullet holes in them. If it's mental health, why did you vote against the Mental Health in Schools Act? And again, why did you refuse to vote on the bipartisan gun safety bill that Lindsey Graham supported? So I Every have, woman in this district would like to know why you don't care about our children's safety in schools. I'm a mom of two kids. I understand that. Working mom, to say I don't care about kids, that is repulsive children's and disgusting. Children's safety in schools, To Nancy. say that I, you know what is not safe is supporting sex change surgery on kids, that's not safe. Great pivot there, great pivot there, because she got caught in a lie. And I'm so glad that Annie Andrews was smart enough to look at Nancy Mace's voting record. And it's right there in plain sight, you can check the record for yourself. She absolutely voted against HR 7780. And that was titled the Mental Health Matters Act. And I was actually fascinated to see you know, considering how the GOP purports to care so much about mental health in this country after a mass shooting and only after a mass shooting, how many Republicans voted in favor of that legislation? So let's take a look at the graphic here. And as you can tell, <laughs> wow, a lot. One, one Republican <laughs> voted in favor of it, 205 voted against, six abstained from voting. And as you can see, not a single Democrat voted against this in the House. Okay, so there's a super interesting phenomenon. Uh, that you're seeing in this debate that I want to tell you about. I think that's a bigger story here. But let's pause on on this bill first. Every time you see a Republican tell you, hey, it's not the guns, it's mental health. Remember this bill, they all voted against it. Mm-hmm. Except for one. Except for one, 205 out of 206 were like, oh yeah, we we're just lying. We're all liars. We don't care about mental health at all. No, no, that goes to the average American. I hate it, that didn't even go through a corporation. I hate it, no way, right? They're all goddamn liars. If there was an honest press in this country, they would tell you that. Instead, I I can't tell. I mean, that's why there's a New York Times pitch bot making fun of the New York Times for calling everything even. This is not even. They're liars. They don't care about mental health at all. It's just an excuse to protect gun manufacturers. Okay, now, um, and and you know that she uh, voted no on it. Mm -hmm. She's like, all right, well, didn't you vote no? Uh, Trans, gay. Uh, kids, sex change operation. Wait, we weren't talking about that. Yeah. Did you vote yes or no? So you, it's she's, it's super obvious that she's a giant hypocrite. Can I just, I have to also just point out one other part of Nancy Mace's uh, argument there. Because it's amazing how often the right wing will be proven wrong in their solutions to these uh, school shootings. And they still, keep regurgitating the same talking points that have been debunked over and over again. The first thing she mentioned was SRO, so school resource officers. You wanna talk about Uvalde? I mean, so did we need like maybe a 100 more cops there on the scene before that guy started shooting up kids for you know that shooting to be prevented? I mean, it makes no sense. Makes no sense. The mass shooting that happened at the Topps grocery store in Buffalo, New York, there was a an armed, Guard there, 
And obviously that wasn't enough to stop the mass shooter from gunning down shoppers at that Topps grocery store. So like the idea that all you need is one man with a gun. You just need one good guy with a gun to prevent this from happening is crazy. And to be sure, I mean, I think I think Annie Andrews did a really good job just in my opinion expressing what the majority of the Democrats and the left feel about gun legislation. I don't want to ban guns, I don't. But we need common sense gun regulation to ensure that when guns are sold, they're not being sold to the wrong people who pose a threat to public safety. That's not that difficult to do. And I think her line, bullet holes in them, it paints a picture of what happens to children all across this country, to people all across this country because of our laxed gun laws. Yeah, I mean, so of course Anna's right about the absurdity of the argument. We just needed a couple more cops. You had 400 cops at Uvalde. 400, how and that didn't do the job. And your solution is more cops, more guns. Hey, do you have gun manufacturers that give you money through the NRA, etc.? I bet you do. Almost all the Republicans do. So, and then that disingenuous line of "I'm a mom. I can't believe you." I don't give a damn what you are, right? So, I mean, look at all the sellouts they have from the different races and backgrounds, etc., that are all over the Republican Party. Herschel Walker, I'm black, but let me tell you, black culture is all wrong. Okay, so I'm a mom. Oh yeah, it's okay. Shoot the kids. Hey, did I get the check? Did the check clear? Check cleared. Shoot other people's kids. My kids are in the line of danger. Did the check clear? Good. We're good. But now the more important issue: the Democrats are fighting back. What the hell? <laughs> that doesn't happen in decades. So you got Tim Ryan. You got uh, uh, this person over here doing it. You've got obviously Fetterman doing it, and it's popping up in more and more places. Uh, we noticed it when uh, at least Slotnick did it. She's a conservative Democrat, mm -hmm. and she fought back super hard against abortion on the floor of the House. And I was like, wait a minute, the memo's out. Then the dark Brandon memes about Biden, and Biden fighting back a little bit. Why? It's always the money. But in this case, there's good news. They're raising a lot more money from grassroots donors when they fight back. So they smell the money. I'm talking about the Democrats. They're like, oh, the people like it when you. Are opposed to your opponent. Oh, all the consultants told us don't be opposed to your opponent. Go to the debates and kiss Republican ass. But now I'm raising money when I don't, when I actually fight them. Thank you, knuckleheads. Of course, of course. It was the donors that was that were stopping them from fighting. Now back to Tim Ryan for a second. Like Tim, Tim's a good example because he's kind of a conservative, somewhat establishment Democrat, right? But now he's like the fiercest fighter. Why is he doing it? He explained it the other day. The Democratic Party is giving him nothing, okay? But he's got about, he claims about 350,000 donors. So he's fund, funding what is now a badass campaign from you guys. And as long as he's getting the money from you guys, all of a sudden he's a giant fighter for the people, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And by the way, the Democratic Party, what a bunch of incompetent, corrupt, feckless losers. You're gonna spend 30, 40 million dollars on extremist Republicans in primaries? And you're giving Tim Ryan against J.D. Vance. J.D. Vance, who's loathsome and probably believes in a dictatorship. You're, you're giving Tim Ryan no help in Ohio? The Democratic leadership is the worst. Like This was a very, very winnable election, all of these. And they're trying to find a way to lose it. But luckily, the candidates have had enough and they're now seeing, yes, your voters want you to fight Republicans. It's about damn time. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.